Hello everybody and welcome to hole number 3, a part 5 of the Phantom Mansion for the Phantom Mansion Tournament and also tour number 4, the Six Star Hotel. The video here is sponsored by Golf Clash and Play Demic. and before we start don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also visit golfclashtommy.com for more Golf Clash related content for free. Last but not least get the best guides on the market by going to patreon.com slash golfclashtommy, link directly in the description down below. So let's take a look on this par 5, beautiful looking par 5, we're gonna play on the right side if possible and if we do have a headwind this drive will be fairly tough, in tailwind and crosswind it's not gonna be any issues. Max top spin, two bars of side spin to the left, the more top spin the better, it's gonna simplify this drive immensely. Adjust and uh, adjust for the ball to get over the rough and the sand and here I do decide as we do have a lot of room for error I do decide to go max over power with half a ball of curl to the left and you're gonna notice why because I do personally feel lay up before the rough is definitely going to increase the difficulty on this part 5 to have a chance for the pin and we are always playing for the pin but if you don't have a power 3 ball uh, and also having then headwind combined with maybe a power 1 ball power 0 ball then you really don't have any choice and then you're gonna have to lay up short maximum distance plus 20 is what I judged the elevation to be second shot I would like us to pack the goliath if possible and this because I want to go for a rough bump here. The wind will most likely not be as high, especially when we do have wind resistance. I'm using three and a half bar top spin. I would, however, though recommend to go 3.8, as it is very hard to judge the ball guideline with the with the Goliath that has a very a very limited ball guideline at this stage. Adjustment medium distance and no elevation for this shot, and we're obviously looking to get this ball to drop. But as you can see here, the ball travels in the air, it bounces into the rough and it rolls and we come very nicely towards the pin. Unfortunately, you know, short in line and you know what I think about that, never go short in line. So rather come in a little bit hot than come in a little bit short or yeah, short in line like we're having there. But I do believe that this rough bump is definitely the best possible way to get an albatross. And as you probably noticed on the video, if we do not have uh, enough backspin on our club, we will risk endangering the rough on the back end of the green instead. So make sure you pack the correct clubs going into this hole. And if you go into this hole in a tour play situation, you're gonna have to adapt on the fly. If you do have like a backbone or a Saturn or any other club that do have a decent amount of backspin, the rough bump obviously is um, it's not going to be the only option you have then you're gonna have to decide but I do think this is a really interesting part 5 where the drive is everything make the drive correct you have a good chance of making an albatross video here is sponsored by Gold Clash and Playdemic make sure to join our discord link to discord in the description down below thank you so much for watching and good luck in your Gold Clash game